So when it comes to running ads for other, other businesses, there's two different ways that, that you can do it. There's two different ways to do it. One way is to simply request access to their business page. And you'll do that from the Royal Media Marketing, right? That, that account will be the one tied to somebody else's business page. And, and, and the, the times that I do it that way and only that way. So all I'm doing is I'm requesting access to their business page. The only time I ever do it that way is if I'm only going to run one ad for them. And, and a lot of times it starts with the like ad. So like I was trying to mention on the first call, the things that I start with is step one and two. Number one, doing all their links. And then step two, running a like ad for them. That's how I start my clients. You can start them right away running Facebook ads for them and capturing leads. You can do that for sure. But the way I do it is, option, is, 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 is the way number one. So number one way is to request access to just the business page. I'm going to show you how to do both. To, to do, to do both. But when, again, when you add their business page, it's only when you're running one, one ad. And that's what I do. So from right here, pages, I'll click on the blue button, click on add, ADD, right to that blue button. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll test, we'll, we'll do a test with, with my page. So you're going to request access to a page. And then here's what I do. So open up another tab, or actually go to your Facebook tab, the one that you have open right there, Facebook, the, the tab up face. Yeah, go to that one. Perfect. Okay. So now go to, go to inspired digital. Let's say I'm your client or you're bringing me aboard and you're going to request access to my page. And I'm actually doing this with them on, on zoom. So I'm walking them through it. I'm walking them through it. So inspired with an E. E N. Yeah, just with an E instead of I. So inspired digital. Yeah, you could you should be able to find it that way. Perfect. Okay, so right there, my name. Click on that. So here's what I'm telling the client. I say, okay, client, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna request access to your business page. And when I do you're going to get a notification and I need you to, to follow through with what I'm going to show you to do. So here's what I'm showing. So I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how to do all this right now. So copy that link at the very top, the entire URL, double click, double click. So you can no double click it, just double click. Perfect. That way you see everything, the HTTPS, you need the whole thing. So grab the whole thing, copy it, and then now bring it over to the ads manager. So go back and open up that tab where we were at the ads manager, the other one. Yeah, let's close out. Let's close out. Let's close out the, the two that we don't need. Close out this one, and close out that that third. The no 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 leave that one open. Close out the other one. Yeah, close out that one. This one. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So now go back to that one. So here's what you do. We paste it in. So I'm showing them. I'm on the line with them. I'm visually screen sharing, and I'm showing them how I do it. I paste it in, and you hit the drop down. Always make sure you see that drop down. And then what I always do, I always request full admin access. But what you can really do is just do create ads. So if you're going to just run ads, then, then you can just go create ads, click that gray button and turn it to blue just on create ads. And that's it. That's one option. A lot of times I'll just do that. But, but then sometimes I'll just do the whole manage page, admin access. And I'll just, I'll just request everything um, just so nothing comes up and I don't need to re I don't need to reach out to them again. And, and I just have full access, but to tell you the truth, you can just do create ads and that's fine. So again, I'm doing it this way when I'm only running one ad for them. So I'm going to show you both ways and then go ahead and hit request. Just, why just one ad? Because the way I do it is I just run the like ad. Remember I, I tried to explain it to you in the first call where yes, I don't yes. start them off at a, at a monthly retainer right away you're, you're going to be doing that. You're going to be doing it that way. But in this example, I want to show you both ways. I want to show okay. you how to request access to the business page only. And then, I'll, and that's only when you're doing one ad. And I'm going to show you how to request access to their page when you're going to run a shitload of ads. Okay. There's two different. Oh, so I should get, I mean, should, should uh, uh, get access to, to, to their ads manager as well. Right. I mean, an ads account. That's the second way. That can be okay, okay. Okay. This is the first way. So this is the only one we're going to run one type of one ad one time. Business page. You only need access to the business page. You don't need access to the ad account right now. So this is, this is the option one. So go ahead and click request access. So once that goes through, then what I tell the client, cause okay. So go ahead and click close. So right here, your request is pending approval. Okay. 
So then what I tell the client is I say, okay, client, go ahead and share your screen. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen. So stop sharing. And so now I tell the client, I say, okay, let me stop sharing. Go ahead and share your screen. And I'm going to walk you through how to approve me. So here's what I tell the client. I say, okay, go to your business page and to the very, very left, you're going to see settings. Click on settings and you're going to come down to page roles. So you click on that. This is what I'm telling the client. They're, they're, they're going to page roles. And then as they scroll down, they're going to see that they're going to see your request. There goes Royal Media Marketing. So what I tell the client, I say, okay, client, go ahead and respond to request. You're going to um, go ahead and, and hit and see that, that I'm, I'm, you know, requesting it. Go ahead and click continue. And then you're going to accept request. And once you accept request, it's going to ask you for your password. Put your password in and click submit. And then now you're going to, you're going to, um, and now, now once the password is, is, is good, now what I do is I come back and then I tell the client, okay, you can stop sharing now. Let me go ahead and share my screen. So now right here, now I see your screen. So I just stopped sharing. Now I see your screen. So what I tell the client, I say, I say, okay, cool. Stop sharing. Come back to my screen. Go ahead and hit refresh right there. So this is what I'm showing the client. Go ahead and refresh this page. And now you'll see that you now have access. So now what you got to do though, is you have to tie it to your name. That's why as much as you want to stay away from your personal page, that's fine. But every business okay. account is still tied to your personal name. So you, you can't get away from your personal page. So okay. you're going to add yourself right there and then go ahead and, 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 and go create ads and assign. All and right. It. Great. All right. Great. Great. Perfect. Now I so, understand. So that's how you add access. That's how, and then I also tell the client, I say, Hey client, watch, let me come back to my screen. So stop share. Let me go ahead and come back to mine. Can you see my page? No. Go ahead and come back to it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Did you see the whole my whole way and how I even got to my page? Did I did I show you? Page? Did you see that screen? Were you seeing what I was doing the whole time? Not really. I was. I mean, no, I didn't see. But I know how to to kind of like. I, I okay, was. I thought you were seeing that, bro. No, so, I didn't so, see. It. Like I was just imagining. Okay, can you see my screen now? Nope. Dude, stop sharing. Stop sharing and, and come back to my screen. Come back to the Zoom. You should now see Now I see your screen, yes. Oh, shit, I thought you were seeing this the whole time, bro. Okay, no. so what I tell the client, after you just did what you did, what did you do? You requested access to the page. You hit the drop down and you requested access and it was pending. Then I tell yeah. the client, okay, go ahead and share your screen. Go to your business page. And you're going to come to the left and you're going to click on settings. This and is what I thought you were looking at. Roles and then scroll down and, yeah. and accept the access. Then uh, the, the, the password and then yes. access is given. Yes. yes, you'll see it right here. Yeah, you'll see it right yep. here. It'll say, it'll say respond to request. Yep. And that's what I clicked on. So I clicked on respond to request. I put in my password and then <clears> you refreshed your page and then you added your name. Okay. All so, right. And, so and then I always tell the client, because in this case, I'm only requesting access to the business page. It's so it's again, it's only when I'm running one ad um, and, and I'm not taking them on as a monthly retaining client just yet. I'm only running the like ad to prove myself. So I tell them, I say, Hey man, if we don't continue, so if we don't end up running more consistent ads, you can always, once the one ad is done, you can always come over here and you can click remove. Don't don't remove me yet because I just wanna uh, go go back on uh, on my screen. Go ahead and, and share your screen. Uh, where is that now? Oh. All right. So when I go up to my business manager, then and if I wanna create ad for 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 your page, yes, yes, I will so, go here and then click on your. No, no. Here's how you're no. going to do now. That's a very good question. Here's how you do it now. Hit the dots in the top left. Dots in the top left. Okay. So I, okay. I added my name. I added myself. All right. Yeah. You so already added your name. Ads. So you're good. So go to as manager. Okay. Now I understand. So this would be from my ad account, right? From my ad ads manager. And this would be yes. basically 
uh, yes. charged to my credit card. Yes, yes. Okay. No, the reason I know this, I mean, I don't know this, but the reason why I kind of like other way better, just if I mess something with, with, with my page, if my uh, account get, gets mm-hmm. banned or, or suspended, then I will have no access to any other pages. So I would rather run ads from there. Yeah, ads. you can you could do that. That's what I'll show you next. But again, I only do it this way when I'm going to run one ad. One so okay, if okay, I'm going to yes, keep yes, running yes. ads for you, then I, hmm. then I, then I, then I don't even do this step. I just request access to your ad account. Yeah. Okay. okay. I understand. So, yeah. This is great. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So go ahead and hit add accounts to the left. Yeah. So you went to the settings. No, go back. Add accounts to the left. So right there on the left hand side, you'll see add accounts. No, to the left, to the left, to left, 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 right there. Left add accounts. Add up, account. up, up, add, add accounts. Right here? Right there. So now this is how you request access to their ad account. So just hit, click on add right through the blue button, add. And then you're going to request access to an ad account. Okay, but what, uh, do I, like, if I want to have uh, access to ad account, do I need to have access to the page? That you're going to have that automatically. So when you request access to the ad account, you get everything. Oh, okay. I see. So, all right, all right, all right. So I go up here. No, 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 not that one. Go X out. It's, it's, it's request access to an ad account. Request access to an ad account. So this would be my ID, account ID, which is here, right? 306. Is it? Okay. So, so now you request access to an ad account. So you're going to type your ad account ID. So is that 306352? Or you just simply give me, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Go back, go back. Okay. So it's, it's giving you an option or follow these steps to request access to an ad account. So I do it that way. So contact the owner of the ad account, ask them to go to the ad account tab in their business manager and click assign partner to give them, to give you access, they'll need to enter the number below. So what so I do they is need I just to simply click assign partner, not ads or, or get uh no copy that copy that number, just copy text to clipboard. Copy that number. Yeah, copy that number. And then just send it to me in the, the chat here. Where's chat? In the zoom understand. in the zoom chat. I still don't see it. So you should see chat in the Zoom window. Okay, perfect. So now I have this number. So I'll just, this is how I do it. I just give them this number and then, and then I I walk them through it. So i copy that. And then now let me share my screen. Go ahead and stop share. Let me copy again. Where do I go now? Just um, click on, come back to the Zoom. Do you see my screen? Uh, no, I need to stop sharing. Uh, oh. Is I'm going to come to mine. I'm going to go to add accounts. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to assign partner. So I'm doing it on, on my end. So nothing whatever. Nothing in this where it says add accounts. Actually, yeah, right, with right here. What's that? Yeah, yeah that's what, what, I, what I was about to ask. So you go there and then, okay, okay. So then I paste it in right there. Add account. That's it. And so now I'll see your ad account over here. So you didn't go here where it says assigned partners, no, right? No, I didn't go there. Cool. All right. So that, that, that's my question. See, I, I guess that could be, that could be an option, but no, I don't want to, I don't want to do it there because I don't want to, I'm not assigning a partner to this ad account. I'm adding a full blown ad account. See, so if I assign you here, you're, you're, we're now going to, we're now going to have access to this ad account, but I don't need you on this ad account. I need, I need your ad account. Okay. Right. So it's, so it's, it's right here. So you just paste in the account ID number and that, and add, and then I would add that account. And now, and now, um, there'll be access to that account to that ad account. So as you go in and run ads, you'll be able to run it from that ad account. 
All right, so let's say I did that. So basically I would go on a business manager and then go to an ads account. And if I wanna- Go ahead and share your screen. Yeah, so right here, add accounts and then-, and then... All right, so, so I have access to your page. If I go here, I would have access to your ad account, right? Yes, we are, yes. Okay? You then can see I your ad account right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would click on your ad account like I'm clicking on Royal Media right now. No, you don't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't click on it right there. You wouldn't. The, you don't click on anything right here. You oh, just add it, and that's it. Okay. And then I now, it and then I go. Okay. 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 Yeah. Go and, ahead. and then you hit the dots. Hit the dots at the top. Go to the ads manager. Ads manager. And then it's in the ads manager where you'll, where you'll now be able to hit the drop down. So that drop down at the top Royal Mar Media Marketing, you'll be able to hit that drop down and you'll see their account right there. See oh, more ad accounts. So is, is, yes. I'm, okay, 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 okay. Got yes. You hit that and then you'll see their ad account right there and now you run the ad from that account. And that so, account yes, is tied to your credit card. Oh, okay, got it. All right, great. That, that, that ad account is tied to their credit card. Also, that ad account has their Facebook pixel. And also and, in that ad account. But what? Okay, okay, okay. All right. So pixel is something else. So because I'm assuming actually, I'm not, I'm not assuming actually because most of my clients, mm -hmm. agents, I would be one uh, who will create their business manager and their ads account. Yeah, yeah. That would be my first step. Yeah. So I would me also create that pixel, which I don't know how to. Yeah, I'm going to show you that. So that's all part of these calls. So, so, but it's all what I'm saying is that everything is in this one ad account. So in the one ad account, like this one right here, Royal Media Marketing. Royal Media Marketing has a credit card tied to that account. It has a Facebook pixel tied to that account. There's custom audiences tied to that account. So as you start to have these different accounts, every account has their own assets. Every account, every account, every account will have their own pixel. Every account will have their own credit card. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's how you do that's how you do both of them: business page and and or ad account. So, again, when it comes to the ad account, again, and that's another reason why I don't I don't request access to the ad account up front. I just do the business page because in my case, again, I'm just running a one ad, and 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 really. I can do it through through my ad account. I just charge them and then Facebook will charge me obviously, but I, I obviously charge them with a margin. So I make a profit in that as well. Um, but, so on your step three, then if you start, I mean, if you continue working with them, then you start getting, you ask for an ad account. And, yes. And of course monthly. Yes, monthly. But, but the reason for it also is yes, because now we're gonna run more consistent ads and Facebook is gonna now charge you so you're paying me my retainer and now Facebook is charging you for the ads that I'm going to run for you. But again, now I need access to the ad account because really what I need is I need that pixel because what I'm also going to start doing is I'm going to create these landing pages for you and I need your pixel to put on these pages. Yes. So, okay. okay. I understand. Yes, exactly. It's you know, only thing you, like you said, you, you, you'll show me how to install the pixel to these pages. Yes. I'll show you how to get all that stuff for sure. So, that's how you request access to the business page and the ad account. So once you do that, like I like we did now, uh, next step is just click create and and create ads, right? Yes. So now that you're, let's say for example, you were in. Let let's say you're in there. Okay. Well, two examples. One example is right here. You're you're in their account. Let's say Royal Media Marketing is your client. That's their okay. ad account. So yeah. So you just hit the green button and and go from there. But but if they're not if they're not if you don't have access to the ad account, let's say you just did the business page, mm -hmm. you would just hit the green button. This is your account, Royal Media Marketing. You only have access to their business page. You click mm -hmm. the green button, you go through the setup, and then as you're going through the setup, it'll ask you which page do you want to run it from. And oh, that's when you just hit the drop down and choose their page. Okay. So you're running it out of your ad account, but from their business page. But even when I'm running from their ad account, do I do I need to click also like that, or it's no, no, you don't because your everything is in their account and it's all ready to go, okay. and, unless they have multiple pages. If they have multiple business pages in this ad account, then yeah, you'll hit the drop down and you'll choose the right business page for them. 
but um, you'll see that as you proceed and go through the ad setup, which, which I'll show you. All right, so basically once I get access to their ad account, I go to, I mean, I come here yep. from my ads manager, I yep. pick the ad, let's say this one, and, yep. and, and I'm ready to, to, to go. That's it, man, that's it. All right, and like you said, first ad would be like ad. Well, that, that, that's how I do it, yeah. And, and again, in that case, I don't request access to their ad account. That's why I'm showing you my strategy and I'm showing you both ways. Way number one was only the business page because that one, I'm only going to run one ad for you and it's going to be the like ad. So I don't run that like ad through their ad account. But what would be different if you do? Well, shit, bro. They really, so that's why I'll do different, you know, one business page. Let's just do this like ad for now. And then later on, if we continue, then I'll get access to your ad account. And Facebook will start charging you. Okay. Make sense? Yep. And then Perfect. because because at that point, I want them to see the metrics because now I'm running lead capture ads for them. So now we're we're capturing leads. We're on step three. We're capturing leads. I want them to see all the metrics. I want them to see their dashboard. I want them to see what the hell I'm doing. Now it's time to be transparent and show them all that shit because now they're paying me a monthly retainer to do it. But before that, you weren't paying me a monthly retainer. Before that, you paid for one ad and that was it. So you don't need to see anything on that. Let me run the ad. I got it on my end. And, and, and we go from there, you know? Okay, so that's great information. Okay, okay, perfect.